Yeah, I just watched the video uh, that he had with Perry Cowling. Um, I felt a bit gutted, you know, really. Um, but Perry uh, was crying out for me, mate. Uh, you know what I mean? Because you've got to remember, yeah? Me and Perry, uh, I looked after him like my own son. You know what I mean? I took him everywhere with me, Perry. So boxing shows, the venue, anywhere, Crispin's wine bars, other clubs I used to work in. I took him everywhere with me, Perry, yeah? And it's, I felt sick when he started talking about that because it brought back memories, yeah? Um, the kid, I loved that boy. I lo he was the best, one of the best goalkeepers you could ever be around, that kid. I've seen him jump from one side of the goal to the other side. And everybody was wanting him to have tri trials with him. Professional, uh, professional uh, footballers wanted him to have trials. And he just left it and went off, just went mad, really, doing other things. Um... As far as uh, me being with a 13 and, 13 and a half year old sister, come on. None of you are that silly to, to believe that, you know what I mean? It, come on. The mother-in-law, right, the mother-in-law and this guy that she's talking about, right, they was, they, they was witnesses to my wedding. I've got photographs of, of the witnesses to my wedding, yeah? I'm, I'm there, you know? And it disgusts me to think that they could say that. Come on, I would. No, I'm not. Listen, that that I would never do. I'm not into that scene, mate. You know what I mean? It's a lot of crap. It's a lot. Linda was a beautiful, beautiful girl, and so was Christine. If I could show you pictures of my Christine, you'd faint, mate. But she is exceptionally beautiful. Christine is uh, Christine is exceptionally beautiful, mate. You know what I mean? But like it, all, everything happens, mate. You know, she had my child. You know? Do you think? Do you really, really think? Yeah. But if I'd have done whatever they said I'd done, yeah, right, that they would have married, that she would have married me, and given me a child or two children, do you really think that would have happened? Please, don't be silly. She lived with me for ever. Do you know what I mean? She lived with me for a, such a long time, mate, until I kept going in prison, yeah. And it's, it's just madness. It's madness. It's not. It didn't happen. It never happened. It's got to be just forgot about, wiped off the slate, yeah? It never happened. The only thing I'm upset about is Perry just saying that um, he worked with me down all his places, clubs. He never worked with me. I, just, I looked after him like my own son, yeah? Um, as far as Central Park is concerned, Perry wasn't there, you know what I mean? He was, he was too young, and not only was he too young, but Central Park, uh, the he Georgie Headhunters, there was only two people there. That's Jefferson King and myself. I've done videos with Jefferson King. Go back to the videos with Jefferson King and he will tell you. It was only hit me and him at Central Park when it kicked off with the Chelsea Headhunters. It tell you straight. Perry, he, Perry wasn't there, mate. You know, he's okay, he's lying a little bit. He's, Perry's, listen, Perry's crying out for me, mate. Perry wants to cuddle me, mate. He wants to cuddle me. You've got to remember, I was like his dad. I was like his dad, you know what I mean? And I'm, you know, that's what guts me, mate. I'm sick of how it's gone, you know, because it, I, I'm gutted, you know, the way Perry said that he loved me like a dad, you know what I mean? And that's it, he did. I, everywhere, man, everywhere. I was, he, he was with me 24-7, mate, that kid. Come on, mate, please. Do you really think, you know, I didn't try to get hold of his, his woman, I'm not into that, you know what I mean? I'm don't I'm not that sort of a guy, you know. I was a big, powerful man, yeah. Right, and everybody, everybody in Acton, Chiswick, Brentford, Ealing, all around them areas, right, was petrified of me. Was petrified of me, mate. I was a handful. I was a big, big, powerful boy that was to fight twenty four seven, fight any man, mate. You know, that's why I went into my unlicensed fighting. Perry said I only had two fights. She said I only had two fights at Acton Town Hall. He told you that I went to Lenny McLean's house, right, with with Frank Warren, because to have the fight. But Lenny McLean never showed up in the fight. So I had two shows. I, I, you've seen, my, you've seen, everyone's seen the, the actual advertisement with me, the bills, the billets. Me and Lenny McLean supposed to have fights. It's happened twice. Listen, I've had, listen, I've had, 
about 40 or 38, 42 fights as an unlicensed fighter. I was fight anybody. You know what I mean? I won 38, lost two due to. Listen, it's not big, such a big thing, mate. It's not such a big thing. So what? You know what I mean? But when I come back to Acton, and Acton Channel, I have my own shows, and <laughs> Perry makes me laugh. That I short up, that I bought some short fat guy. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about there. He must be talking about Colombo, or uh, or what's his name? Uh, uh, forget the other's name. <laughs> no, he, uh, he must be talking about them. But nah, mate. Uh, both fights I had was big guys. Cracknell uh, was um, I'd say Cracknell was about thirteen and a half stone, fourteen stone um, when I boxed him. Cracknell hurt me, and I nutted him all out of the ring. That's what I did, yeah. All right, nice one, boy.